Okay, so I've turned the crate over. You can see where it says Japan Crate, and I cut this little flap of tape, and we're getting ready to open it up. Ta-da! So it looks like a lot of potato chips. Who doesn't love potato chips? There's one called Pure Potato. And there's one with a pretty anime character that says Ariel. And looks like there might be a toy inside, a little Gundam figure, perhaps. I'm not sure. Um, I'm guessing that these are tomato flavored because there's a lot of tomatoes on here. So they might be tomato or ketchup flavored. Oh, wow. There's a whole bunch of <laughs> stuff in here. You wouldn't think that because when you first open it, all you see are these two big bags of potato chips. This one just looks like um, regular flavored potato chips as far as I can tell. All right, let's see what we have here. Mm, possibly some type of crackers. I can't read Japanese. I will use Google Translate on all of these in a little bit here. These are vegetable flavors, I'm guessing, although pumpkin isn't really a vegetable. Tomato and broccoli. Some strawberry, or it could be chocolate, I guess. Chocolate-covered strawberries, maybe? Yeah, because it says chocolate in several places. Fruits donuts. So this is like a jelly ring. Um, similar to ones that you can buy in the U.S. at different grocery stores. You usually buy them in bulk. Has a picture of like soda and a donut. I don't know what the flavor will be. We will find out though. Another soda themed sort of gummy candy. It's really pretty. All the sugar on it looks really sparkly. It's cute. Um, some type of little biscuits. Looks like they are vanilla flavored, I'm guessing, because of the splash of milk design. I have to be careful with this stuff. My cats love to eat this stuff. Uh, one of the first years that I was dating my husband, who at the time, of course, was my boyfriend, I made him an Easter basket and it was full of this fake straw stuff and my cat, shr our cats shredded it everywhere. Um, these kind of look like lifesavers. I don't know if they taste similar to like a wintergreen lifesaver or what to expect from that. I will do another video where I actually taste test a lot of this stuff. That's not gummy, that's hard, and it's probably flavored like a little donut. Um, there's a picture of a fish on here. I don't know what this is and I'm kind of scared to, <laughs> to try it. Um, Yatara? I don't know what that is. More strawberry snacks. Mini peach. All I think about is Bowser's peaches, peaches, peaches. <laughs> <laughs> that song is so terrible. I can't believe it's up for an Oscar. That's awful. I mean, the song is okay, but not Oscar worthy. Ooh, Pocky. I like Pocky. Now, this is one, one of the treats that I actually have eaten before. I actually buy mine at Costco. They sell Pocky. Um, this one is a chocolate strawberry flavored one. Pocky is really good. 
of course, who doesn't love Kit Kats? Japan is very famous for having like hundreds and hundreds of flavors of Kit Kats. I'm not sure what flavor this is. I'm guessing it may be vanilla. I'll definitely eat this one too. I have no fear about the Kit Kats. Right now, the only one that I'm really questioning is this fish one. I'm like, hmm. So it's like a tree of life but it's also chocolate, right? I assume. You put it in the stand and you eat it, I guess. It also kind of looks like it might be paper. I have no idea what this is. Maybe it's not food and it's a toy. What's the water for? This came with no directions or anything. That that one's like a total mystery. There's a pouch of water, something that looks like it's either made of chocolate or made of paper, and a sand that the tree snaps into. I'll have to Google that because I don't know exactly what that is. Um, I don't know if this is coffee or might be tea, might be soup. It's definitely some type of a liquid. Like I said, I'll run Google Translate on most of the stuff to figure out what it is. Another sort of wafer, strawberry cookie, crackery type of snack. Looks pretty good. Oh, as I drop it. Um, sort of like a sponge cake type of, um, sort of like a hostess, uh, ho-ho, that was what I was trying to think of, a ho-ho, or there's another company that makes them that calls them something else, Ding Dong, yeah, I think they're called ho-hos and Ding Dongs in America, and this one is a strawberry colored one, or flavored one, I should say, as well as colored. Um, so this is like a kit where you can make your own little chocolate, uh, looks like little mushroom shapes as well as an umbrella, maybe one of them quite honestly looks like a penis and one of them quite honestly looks like poo, but, but I think they're supposed to be mushroom shapes to fit the theme of the picnic there. And there's some directions again they're in Japanese so I'm not quite sure what it says but that concludes our Japan crate unboxing there was so much more in here than I expected honestly like who would think that it would fit in something that's like an inch tall I'm happiest about the Pocky and the Kit Kat. I'll definitely eat that. I might try to make this just for fun to put images on TikTok and Instagram. I am completely clueless about this. So if you know, leave me a comment as to what this is because it has no directions or anything. This is cute. Probably tastes good. I like peach flavored stuff. Um, so... It said Sakura Crate, and it talked about the Sakura, but there's nothing cherry-flavored in here. <laughs> that would be my only, like, um, complaint, if there was a complaint. I mean, I got all of this for free, so I can't really complain too much. Um, but if it's Sakura-themed, I think they could have done a better job matching that theme by including some stuff that's cherry-flavored and not just red and pink matching the color. Um... Strawberry is good too, though, but I assume that there's probably cherry candy they could have included. Um, and then like a cherry soda. I know there's all kinds of different Sakura flavored Pepsis and Sakura flavored Coca-Colas and stuff that are limited edition only in Japan. They could have put that in there instead of whatever this is. But um, overall, I think it's a really nice crate. And I'm very happy with it. Thank you so much, Japan Crate. And I hope you all enjoyed the review. I will, as I start to nibble and nosh on some of these, I will do some more videos and some more reviews on what I think of some of these different treats and goodies. 
And there's so much here I definitely will be sharing with my husband and our friends. That's all for now. Bye-bye.